Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really good. So for today's video, we are gonna be doing another slow cooker meal ideas. You guys seem to have really loved the last one, so I thought I would share with you another four more recipes that we really enjoy in this house. The first one being a beef stew. So what you're gonna need for this is some carrots. We decided to use some parsnips. We've got some diced beef an onion and a beef stock cube. So the first things first is popping the beef straight into the slow cooker, making sure that you get that little piece of, I don't know what it is, is it like paper stuff off the beef. And then I'm gonna cut my carrots up, but I've decided to cut them differently this time. Usually I just cut them into like little circles. I thought I would do it long ways and make them just different for a change. Then I'm going to chop up an onion, obviously you can have as much onion or as much veg or whatever you want to put in the stew as you want. I'm just going to chop up one onion into little pieces and pop that in there. So once I've chopped up my onion, I'm then going to go and chop up the parsnip, just the same as how I've done the carrot and stick that in there. We don't often have parsnip but I just thought for a change I'm going to get some and pop it in. You can add whatever vegetables you like. Then I'm moving on to the beef stock. So I'm popping this in with some boiling water, gonna give that a big mix, and then pop it in with everything else. And I'm also gonna add in a bit of extra water because I like it to all be covered in water and make sure everything's like covered and soaking so they can get all the juices and all the flavor. then just popping over some tinfoil because if you didn't see my last video then I broke my lid not long ago and I'm just using tinfoil at the moment. Works exactly the same and we have a huge big roll so I'm using tinfoil and hoping that Father Christmas brings me a new slow cooker because I need a bigger one anyway. So this is it halfway through the day, it's nice and cooked, everything's looking delicious. And then what I do to thicken up the stew is add some gravy granules. These ones I get from Home Bargains and it just makes the stew taste so nice. Thickens it up a lot and the gravy granules are really affordable too. I'm also doing mashed potato with this so I'm currently just boiling some potatoes. I leave the skin on because it just makes life easier and it's not a problem because it goes really soft when it's mashed anyway. I'm adding in some warm milk and a bit of butter. I'm just giving those a shake and then I'm going to give them a mash up when I've added in the milk and the butter. So I like to make the mash super creamy so I use my little baking gadget to give it a good mix through and make it super fluffy and then once it's ready I'm going to serve it up with the stew and this is definitely a favourite meal of ours. The boys absolutely love it. We love it. It's such a hearty meal to have. It's really warm and it just it's just such a cosy meal at this time of year. So this is Steve's huge big portion because he loves food and it looks absolutely delicious. I could eat it right now while I'm doing this voiceover. It just looks divine and it is so tasty. Now moving on to meal number two, I'm going to be showing you how I make my chicken curry in the slow cooker. I absolutely love doing this, again it's another favourite of ours, I've shared it a lot over on my Instagram and lots of you have done it as well. So I'm going to show you on here how I do it, I just add some diced chicken into the slow cooker and also an onion, so I'm just chopping up the onion now. Once I've done cutting the onion, I'm popping in some of this curry spice blend in. This is something I picked up from the supermarket near the herbs and spices and stuff. So I've just started adding this in because it just coats the chicken, it gives it a bit more flavour and a bit more taste. I like to add in quite a bit of this just to make sure everything's nice and covered. 
and then I'm going to pop in my jar of curry sauce so I'll usually use a chicken korma but today I'm going to use butter chicken this is just um, a basic a basic recipe but it's super easy and super tasty and everyone loves it so I'm going to add this into the chicken now and then once I've added all of that in I like to go and put a bit of water into the jar and get whatever's left over because there's usually stuff stuck to the sides which you can never get out so I like to add in a bit of water give it a good shake and then pop in the rest in as well so nothing's going to waste and it's just super tasty I then like to add in a big handful of spinach. The boys aren't massive veg eaters, but I like to get it in to any meal as much as I can because this is something that can be hidden because they go quite small and they just kind of break up and they don't really taste of that much, to be honest. So I always pop in some spinach. So every meal that I've showed you in this slow cooker meal ideas, I will leave on high to start with, but only because I'm at home so I can turn it down, but if you're going to be out all day I would recommend leaving them all on low all day long and they'll cook just as well as they would on high. I usually start them off on high and then I'll turn them down to low in the afternoon. I also like to add in a bit of cream in there just to make it nice and creamy and also just to take out any super spicy bits if there is because the boys obviously don't want a really spicy curry so I always like to add in a little bit of cream. We also serve these with some garlic and coriander naans and we've also got some palau rice as well so I'm just going to start to dish this up now. Moving on to meal idea number three, this is meatballs and I am going to do like a meatballs and spaghetti. So I'm just popping in these meatballs I got from Tesco. They actually have carrot and onion in them which I think is fab especially for little ones if they're like fussy eaters. It's good because they've got some vegetables already in there. But I'm also going to pop in an onion as well and then I'm also going to pop in some garlic granules just to make it a bit more tastier and add in a little bit more flavour. So I always like to sprinkle this on using my hands and just give it a good shake. And then I'm also adding in some mixed herbs, just a sprinkle of this. I kind of don't have any measurements with how I cook, I just, just stick it all in there. I'm also adding in some tomato puree just to thicken it up. This is a big dollop, I don't know how much, just a big dollop. Then I'm adding in a lamb stock cube. I like to break this up like using a knife and then I'll just pop it all in and try and sprinkle it out evenly. Then I'm using some passata, which I would normally use chopped tomatoes, but someone on Instagram recommended I use passata just to make it extra thicker, the sauce. But I actually didn't particularly like it with passata. I preferred the taste of it with chopped tomatoes. So I think next time I'll probably use chopped tomatoes. Um, because it was very thick and the sauce I didn't particularly, the, the taste of it just wasn't as nice as chopped tomatoes normally. Also I would say when you mix in the meatballs to start with just mix them very carefully because obviously with them being meatballs and you want them to try and stay as meatballs they sometimes break so just very carefully mix it through together and then leave it to simmer and it will look something like this after a couple of hours. It looks absolutely gorgeous and it was really tasty but I just prefer using chopped tomatoes with ours. Um, the passata was just very, very strong, the taste. Um, I'm using some fresh spaghetti with this just from Morrison's. I'm um, just going to pop that on the hob now so it can simmer away. And then again, just quickly serve that up. I always like to use fresh pasta now because it takes a lot less time. It's just so quick. Um, and I think it's a lot tastier as well. So I'm just serving up this and I'm also going to add on some grated cheese.
And then finally, the last meal I'm showing you is something that I've actually never tried in this local cup before, but it went down an absolute treat. So this is a chicken dinner. I bought a chicken in the bag and took it out of there, popped it in the slow cooker, chopped up a, a lemon, I was going to say a pepper then, a lemon, gave the lemon um, a good squeeze all over the chicken because it was actually a lemon flavoured chicken anyway, it said lemon and herb chicken I think. Um, so what I did was just pop a little bit more lemon in there and actually left them in the slow cooker as well with the chicken and I also added on some mixed herbs just to give it a little bit more extra flavour but I'm, I'm sure it was already tasty without me adding all this in but I just fancied doing that and that's how it looked in the slow cooker and I was so impressed with how it had cooked and um, this was after about three hours maybe it was looking like this and it just looked so nice already and we are going to serve this with some roast potatoes so currently just peeling the potatoes and chopping them up to how I would like them then I'm going to pop them in um, a pan and boil them part boil them so we'll, I'll usually boil them for about 10 minutes make sure they're like soft and fluffy uh, because the living room is waiting for us after we've had our tea so I'm just fluffing these up they've just been on the hob and now I've just drained them and then fluff them up in the pan and then I'm going to add them to a warm, I've had this tray in the oven with oil in, so I'm then going to just add the potatoes in, add a little bit of salt in there, add some mixed herbs and then also a little bit more olive oil on top of them and then give them a good shake and then pop them in the oven. I actually leave them in the oven for about two hours only because we've got an agar so it takes a lot longer so I think they were actually in probably longer than two hours to be honest but this is the chicken now as well, looking very lovely. And then I always give Steve the job of cutting up the chicken because I really don't like doing this part. So he is chopping up the chicken, serving it out between us all. We've also got some peas and some sweet corn to serve it with and also going to have some gravy and some cauliflower cheese which is my absolute favourite. I actually just bought this in a packet from Aldi so that's a bit cheating but it was so nice. I added some extra cheese on top as well and then we've just got some gorgeous gravy. So there you have a roast dinner that was super quick and easy to do. Just popped the chicken in the slow cooker and left it all to it and it was absolutely gorgeous if I do say so myself. So that is the end of this video guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you got some meal ideas. Steve is pinching a potato from Woody. But yeah, I really hope that you loved this. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you again soon with another Slow Cooker Meal Ideas. Bye guys!